So the first one we're going to talk about, it's a conspiracy theory about oil. Now, you know, I was going to college back in the late 90s, early 2000s. And that was a time where you're reading a lot about peak oil. And that was kind of the big movement at the time. There's always one, there's always like one big ecological social disaster movement at a time. This was before 2012. But I think for the intellectuals, it was peak oil. We're going to run out of oil. We're going to run out of oil someday. And, you know, the end of suburbia, we watched that movie in college. And I remember thinking, oh, no, this is really bad. Like, we're running out of oil. And it could be like this huge disaster thing. And they always kind of pitched it as, it's not Mad Max, but it's kind of like Mad Max. But, you know, as I got older and I kept looking at stuff, and especially when Deep Water Horizon popped off, if we were at a level of peak oil, you'd be like, oh, this is definitely accelerating the, you know, now we're real. But there's just so, there's so much oil under the ground. It can get harder to find. And sometimes we need new technology to access it, like fracking. But the idea of us running out of oil, I, I don't have a, I, I really don't think is an issue. Now, I especially don't think it's an issue because when I was looking into the issue of peak oil and things like that, I came across an interesting conspiracy theory. And that is oil is not only plant based or carbon based. Now, we are always taught in school that oil is caused from dead plant matter. And dead biological matter, but, you know, mostly plants being compressed over thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years. And it gets compressed down, and basically when it breaks down to its parts, it's, it, can, it forms petroleum. And that, that's a real kind of dumbed-down explanation, but that's, I don't think you're dumbed-down. I'm sure you guys may have a more succinct way of putting it, but that's, that's probably the most succinct way for me to understand it. It's basically... Millions and billions of tons of biological matter pressed down, you got oil. Over time and pressure makes oil. With Okay, anyways. There's been this theory that's been going around. That that's not the only place where it's from. So the theory is called at a biogenic petroleum. A biogenic petroleum. And you, th- you think of it as... In the term asexual, where it's like you don't have sexual interest, abiogenic petroleum is petroleum that does not need biological matter to form. So how does it form? The earth has it inside of it. It's almost like the earth's blood. So the theory is is that this theory originally um, gained traction in Russia, where the scientists were saying it's possible that... It doesn't, oil is a natural resource that's intrinsic to all planetary bodies, which would mean that the moon has oil, that meteors have oil, or asteroids, that all the planets that have a rocky form have some form of oil. Now, the the common understanding was that, no, oil is biological matter that's compressed over time. So at first, people were, other scientists, there was a lot of pushback from that. What has, what's happened is that when they've, People have done tests in areas where there weren't, they shouldn't be any oil if if it's because of the biogenic thing. I remember there was a researcher in Sweden. I think it was in Sweden or Switzerland or or one of, oh, I have a listener in Sweden. Hey, if you're listening to this one, maybe you can help me clear this up too. It was one of the Nordic, one of the high European states. This researcher was like, no, there's, I will prove there's oil there. And he was able to drill in an area that there shouldn't have been oil. And it, there was a trickly black substance. And the scientists were like, ha ha, it's not oil. And he's like, well, it's kind of oil. So that's been the complication. Science has had to come back and say that, okay, guys, it is possible that there is some oil that is abiogenic. We just can't access it. Science can't rule it out completely because tests have been done to show that it may exist. You'll see some article. I'm going to post two articles. And as I researched more into it, you'll see other articles pop up if you research it on your own. And they're like, well, it's not co- that, that's not true because it's, there's not huge deposits of it. So therefore, it's not true. Sci- and, and when you really dig into the, the meat of it, though, science has to say it's possible. It's just the oil that we're pumping out of the ground is definitely biological matter because we can find biological markers in it. But it's also possible that oil in other parts of the planet are 
are um, abiogenic. And then the abiogenic people says, that's all we're asking. We're not saying that all oil is from the earth. We're saying that some of it may be. There's the argument, too, that the biological markers in oil we pump up is enzymes eating the oil. So that was that's going to be our first conspiracy is is oil something that is just is it basically the lubricant for the planet could you drill anywhere deep enough and find oil reserves that's that'd be the question is all oil plant-based matter or is only some oil plant-based matter because even the abiogenic the abiogenic people aren't saying no all oil absolutely every single drop of oil is um this is this so I think that's an interesting conspiracy theory. The oil thing, which again, this was a story that I had heard, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago and found fascinating. And again, I had to do some more digging on this. And as it stands right now, the consensus is, is yeah, I guess it's possible. It's not what we're pumping out, but it's possible. And so the scientific community is still more divided on on this, on the oil issue. And I think the idea of the planet actually producing a lubricant, like oil is a natural substance that exists on every planet, is um, fascinating. Is a fascinating. It's just another layer to how amazing science works. Now, again... It's probably not the oil that you're putting in your car, and even the a even the people who are supporters of the a biogenetic what was it you you know the petroleum that doesn't have plant matter aren't saying that, but I just think it's amazing like that just shows another layer of mystery. We don't know anything about this planet. We don't know anything about the human body. We don't know anything about the universe around us or the universe in the microverse or anything like that. I find that fascinating that new stuff is being discovered, stuff that we've taken for granted is being discovered today. Because, like I said, people have tried dismissing the abiogenic oil, and the really the best they can come up with is it's not in huge, huge amounts, at least huge amounts that we can access. But if if that's true, if something that is as ubiquitous as oil, ubiquitous, you, I think there's a T in there, but something that's such a part of our life as oil, you know, that the, the, we're still discovering stuff about that, I find that amazing. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.